Yo, what's going on guys? And we gotta talk about Dwight Powell. I wanna hear your thoughts down below right now. Like and subscribe, but let me hear your thoughts. Do you guys agree with me? Dwight Powell is like an underrated part of this team. I know he only plays like between 20, 30 minutes a night and their only backup big that they really play is arguably Maxi Kleba because Boban Marjanovic and Marquise Chris don't really play. Like even though Marquise Chris sometimes come in the, comes in for some like bench minutes, like garbage time. But really like, look, since the All-Star break, our man Dwight Powell is averaging like 12 points a game, okay? And I know it's a steal game, a little, little bit under a block a game, but the thing is this guy's grabbing like six boards a night, okay? Dishing out a little under two assists and just playing efficient, almost shooting 70% from the field, which is ridiculous at 67%. Just playing hyper-efficient basketball, grabbing rebounds, and then just kicking it out to a guy at the three-point line, which it's, it's honestly so much fun to watch and just watching this guy who a lot of people, my roommate who's from Dallas, he's from Plano. He went to Plano Senior, Plano West. I don't even know. They're, they're maroon or burgundy. They're, they're high school jerseys. But either way, this guy, first off, his PER is 17.55, which is 2.5 above you know, the league average. And the thing is, this is the guy who I know he's not having a career high in blocks or steals or arguably even, you know, rebounds but this is a guy who in his 20 or so minutes a night he comes in he plays hyper efficient basketball just basically making every shot like he takes about five shots a night and makes you know three or four shots a night okay goes to the line two to three times a night which is awesome because he draws fouls and then the thing is he grabbed five rebounds a night but half of those rebounds are offensive rebounds and he's just putting putbacks okay or he's kicking out to a guy like spencer did with he josh green luka Doncic, okay randy bullock okay maxi kleba okay frank nil keen out here picking some threes spencer dinway jalen bronson okay dorian finney smith all out here just catching threes for this team off of white powell rebounds and you know the crazy thing also frank del Kina this season i know he barely plays but i do want to talk about the fact that frank del Kina is out here shooting threes like weirdly enough he's attempted 105 threes this year at hitting 34 percent and when he comes in he actually shoots like two threes a night in like 12 minutes so it, it's, it's kind of weird that he's doing this Got him developing a three-point shot, it looks like. So good for him. Maybe he'll be so, something in the NBA. But Dwight Powell, honestly, guys, I think Luka Doncic is able to run. Also, Dwight Powell is a phenomenal pick-and-roller. Like, this guy sets a pick-and-roll. It's just because he's a wide body. He's like six foot ten, okay? And he just sets a pick, and he's there. All right, this man out of Stanford, six foot ten, 30 years old, 240 pounds. He's been in the league. I always forget that he was on the Celtics for a second. And... The thing is, this guy has been in the league for, what, eight years now? Okay, eight, nine years. And he continues to have success in slowly building up his game, just becoming a hyper-efficient guy. And the thing is, this is also a guy who used to shoot three-pointers, and he just doesn't shoot three-pointers. There was, like, a stretch from, like, 2017 to, like, 2019, the 2020 season, where he was shooting, like, one or two threes a game at, like, low 30s. But I guess, like, someone just told him, nah, you ain't doing that. Like, stop. Stop taking the threes. But yeah, I really do think that the rebounding and just Dwight Powell is just, personally, in my opinion, one of the most fun guys to watch. And so that's where I want to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of Dwight Powell? And what do you think of, you know, do you guys agree with me? Or is this just me that I think he's, you know, a good guy for this team and, you know, helping them win games? I really do believe that. But hey, that's basically my thoughts on this, man. I want to hear your thoughts made to the end of the video. Let me know. But yeah, I'm pretty much done right here, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day. That's it. I'm a peace out on y'all. But yeah, so enjoy the rest of your day as I make one more video.